Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Conventicle bringing you guys some more 2007 old school RuneScape. This video is mostly going to be like about myself and I'm kind of sad that I haven't been able to make any guides lately because ever since I was muted I wasn't able to go bossing a lot so I wasn't able to get footage for guides and stuff like that but hopefully I will get to it in the future and speaking of sort of guide stuff I plan on making a new series in the future where I compare like two items in the game or just two things in general in the game and like which is better like I did with my Zamoraki and Hasta and Abyssal Whip video because that had a lot of success and I think these videos will have a, a really positive effect on people and be really helpful so that's what I plan on doing in the future with my channel uh, tell me if you like the idea of that series in the comment section below and I'll probably respond to you guys because I read all of the comments and I respond to most of them so just leave a comment on what you think about that new series where I just compare two things in the game like I did in my Zamoraki and Hasta and Abyssal Web video. And other than that, there is some good news um, besides me being muted and that is while I was being muted and not being able to really play the game at all, like I was just doing Slayer and stuff like that because I couldn't go bossing. I was checking my YouTube channel and my inbox and I got a message from this guy and he offered me a partnership to this gaming network called TGN. And I looked into the network and they had a lot of positive aspects to uh, their partnerships so I decided to partner up with them and now there's going to be ads on my videos and I know it's going to disappoint a lot of you and I know a lot of you are also going to use adblock but honestly I don't really care I've always been been doing YouTube because I like to see my feedback and I like to help people and make videos myself. It's never been about the money and it probably never will be. So you don't have to worry about stuff like that. I don't care if you guys use Adblock. I used to use it too, so I mean, I know what it's like to have to deal with these 15 second ads on every video. So honestly, I could care less. And for some in-game info, since, like I said, I haven't been able to boss, I've been doing a lot of Slayer, and I'm almost at 78 Slayer. I think I'm about 100k off, probably a little less than that, maybe like 80k at the moment. And also, I'm less than 200k from 92 attack and 94 strength, so hopefully I'll be able to get those up to 99 if I ever get the time, and hopefully I'll be able to get up to... 87 Slayer now because they did release the Kraken and it looks pretty interesting. I really don't know how good the Trident is because I haven't had the money to test it out because I spent all my money on a Ceridoman God Sword and I also had to sacrifice my Gothans for that. But the Ceridoman God Sword helps a lot with bossing and I last a lot longer, which is really helpful. So I hopefully will be able to get some more drops at God Wars Dungeon and pretty much I'm stacked already with this Ceridome and God Sword and my barrels but I need to get my money back for Guthans and also hopefully in the future maybe sometime I'll get full bandos or something like that. But um, other than that uh, my account is pretty much stacked besides the fact that I have Addy Glove still but let's be honest ain't nobody got time for that questing. So that's pretty much all I have to say about my count. In other news, besides the Kraken update, they did update some other stuff, which includes being able to get Mithril Dragon and Avian Sea tasks. I already unlocked those because I have a lot of Slayer points, which is very convenient. And they updated the altars in God Wars Dungeon to tell you when you're going to be able to pray at them. So hopefully I won't be muted for yelling at a prayer altar anytime soon, wondering why I can't pray. Plus, they also added a shortcut to the Spirit Tree west of the Varrock Bank, which is the method I use in order to get to the new Slayer Dungeon next to Naive. So basically what I do is I teleport to Varrock, then go to the V-West Bank, go through the shortcut, up to the Spirit Tree, go to Stronghold, and then I'm basically right next to the Slayer Dungeon. And I really love this new Slayer Dungeon. It has basically everything there for slaying. And that's pretty much it for this video. Tell me what you guys think of the idea of my new series in the comment section below, and hopefully I'll be able to get to that sometime soon. And before I leave you guys, I'm going to be adding that clip in the end of the video which features a pretty awesome drop from these dragons that I've been killing this entire gameplay and I will see you guys later in my next video if you're subscribed peace holy shit <laughs> wow nice
Nice. Nice.